Hello friends, in this tutorial, I'll be talking about the concept called memory set and memory pool. This, in this tutorial, I'll not do any exercises. I'll just explain and we'll run some queries. We need, what is memory set and what is memory pool? And this, this particular explanation, these queries are run on DB2 version 11.1 .1, fixed pack 4. But this explanation is valid for almost all the DB2 versions. So what, what is the... What is memory set is basically the DB2 or the operating system allocates the memory into memory sets. And you can think of that as in the grouping based on similar type or common attribute. So we have different types of memory set and we have DBMS, which is for the database manager. We have fence mode process. We have private memory for the instance. We have database uh, memory set for the database and application and then we have fast communication manager so we have these different types of memory sets which are available for the for the db2 and when and let's say a new application comes in that particular application will allocate a memory pool for itself and that will be from the application and let's say we are taking the backup then it is from the database heap so the memory pool is allocated out of the memory set the memory pool is allocated so memory set is a larger area and the memory pool is a smaller area but the memory pool is is part of is allocated out of the memory set so uh, so if you if you add the similar memory pools together you should get what is the memory set so let me explain so this is the query and here i am showing you the memory pool we can use this mon get memory pool function we can use this mon get memory function let me color code it so yeah so we can use this memory mon get memory pool function to get the memory pools and we can use this mon get memory set to get the memory sets and as i said if you see the memory pool is associated with the memory set so memory set is the larger area while memory pool is the smaller area out of the memory set and if i sum all the memory pools based on the memory set we should get the memory sets so let me show it to you we can go here and okay so let me this uh, deactivate my database okay so what we'll do is we will say db2 pd uh, let's not do that so let me activate the database let's not okay and let me connect to the database and here are the queries so let me show you to you so okay let me open the okay so what the memory pool is based on the memory set and if i sum and then we have memory set and if i if i take this query if i take this query and if i sum all the memory pools so this is the third query if i sum all the memory pools and group by the memory set if i if you see i have grouped by memory set if you, if i group by memory set you should get the memory set which is reported here so if i if i take this query modify it modify it here and if i sum the memory pools the sum the memory pools then i should get the memory set okay so let me just run that query and show it to you so here is the query and clear the screen and db2 minus tf mam dot sql the first query if you see the first query it is giving us the this is the memory set as i said the application database so this is the memory set and then every this is the memory pool so we have got this is a memory set and this is the mem memory pool so it's like that we have at the database level the catches and all the stuff and at the dbms level the fence mode and the private memory so we have all of this and the the first query was the the first output is from this query the memory pool so this is the memory pool output the second query this is the output from memory set this is the output from the memory set and if you see here if you see 
the it's the memory set this is the output from memory set the database says 185280 and if the third query now the third query is actually the grouping of uh, sorry the third query is based on the memory pool so this is from the memory set okay let me actually do one thing yeah so if this query is from the memory set and this query is from the memory pool and if you see the database or if you see the dbms it's almost nearly or the private it's almost nearly the same so what i what i'm trying to say is like the memory pool is a smaller per, per portion and the memory set is the larger portion and the memory pools each individual memory pools gets the memory from the memory set okay and you know you know we have we have this particular concept is pretty old this is not a new concept and i just wanted to share you what is what is memory set and what is the memory pool and then we have other commands actually to see so we have this this particular command would show will show us the memory so let me okay not let, let me not do it here so this particular command will show us the memory allocated at different so what is the memory at the application memory set then dbms fmp private and the database level so this this particular uh, dbptm the this particular option will give us the memory allocated by the db2 at different areas and how much memory is allocated so that is the command if you if you want to see the memory sets at the instance level only at the instance level so we can use this so this particular command if you see my database is active but it is not showing me the memory allocated at the database level so this particular remember that when you use this memset command you will only get the memory sets allocated at the instance level not at the database level and if you want to see the database level memory sets then you have to use this particular option so if i put this then here and again the difference is when you use this particular command you will not get the mem sets at the instance level you only get at the database level so remember that as well now if you want to get the memory pools the at the instance level you can use this particular command so these are the memory pools allocated at the instance level not at the database level and if you want to see the memory pool at the database levels then we have to use this particular command i hope this particular tutorial was useful this is just a tutorial explaining what is memory set and memory pool thank you for watching see you in next tutorial bye bye